Greetings folks, in the previous video I showed how to set up UART control of the Runcam Thumb Speedy B F405 Wing and the Boxer running HTX Now I was a bit frustrated by the fact that you had to toggle the switch up and down to get it to start recording and same again to get it to stop recording and also to change modes I would prefer to have uh, one position for recording and the other position for not recording and one position for video and one position for stills uh, and I've got a comment from a chap called Hyperlytic or FPV Wing who suggested we could use logical switches to have the radio call out when it's recording or not recording and I thought that's a good idea but I can go even further I can change the behaviour of the switch so that I can have recording when it's down and stop recording when it's up and I'm using logical switches so uh, I'll show you how that works let's plug it in and I'll show you that it actually does work Turn it on, it'll start recording, stop recording there. So now I have switch down and it records, switch up and it stops record. I've now changed the mode to S the SD switch and that down for stills, up for video. So let's have a look how to do it with logical switches. So I'm still using channel 13 and channel 14 for the operations. But you can see when I flick the switch, it's only a momentary switch for each action of the uh, two position switch. And that's exactly what I want. All right, so, so let's go over to, first of all, I'll show you, I have to set up the logical switches first, but these are the mixes. It's just channel 13, logical switch 2, and channel 14, logical switch 3. Now we'll go across to the logical switches. So logical switch 2 is on the SA switch. The function we use is absolute delta is greater than equal to X. Uh, now that just means the positive or negative change of the SA switch by more than 5% activates the logical switch and the duration is only 4.5 of a second. The 5% is pretty arbitrary as long as it's something, yeah, as long as it uh, detects when the SA switch has changed in some way, positive or negative. That's what that function uh, captures. Uh, it activates the logical switch and it turns off again in half a second. So that's exactly what we're doing. So if I flick the SA switch, you can see the logical switch is activated and then deactivates after half a second. And it's same for the mode chain switch. I've just done exactly the same thing, but put that on switch SD, same thing. Any change of the SD switch by 5% up or down activates the logical switch three and it stays on for half a second. So you can see all I'm doing is switching it down and I'll do that again. The logical switch goes on and off for half a second. And that one action starts recording the other action stops recording. So now I know when my switch is down, it's recording. When the switch is up, it's not recording. And I can also assign audio callouts, camera on and camera off or something like that. They're things that are already stored on the SD card, but I can actually just feel where the switch is and know whether it's recording or not recording. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.